So let's solve this differential equation. This is a first order linear differential equation. Uh, it's first order because the highest derivative we're seeing here is the first derivative. If it was second order, you would see a y double prime. Or you know, third order, y triple prime, stuff like that. It's linear because the y terms are not multiplied by each other, and there's no y's inside of other functions, like a sine of y or absolute value of y, or even a y squared or something, those are not appearing. So to solve a linear first order differential equation, first of all, we have to try and put it into this form. Uh, we have y prime plus p of t y is equal to g of t. Now if we can put it inside this, or if we can rearrange it to be of this form, then we can solve with the integrating factor method. And the video previous to this one in this playlist actually explains the integrating factor in a lot of detail. So if you haven't seen it already, I recommend um, just clicking here, and this will actually take you to that video of the explanation on how to actually use the integrating factor, whereas in this video we're just showing you, you know, an actual example. So we'll get back to the problem though. Uh, what we want to do is we want to put it in this term, uh, in this form. So we want to divide t by everything, right, to isolate y prime. So we'll get y prime plus one over t y is equal to t squared over t. That's also equal to t. So now we have to identify p of t. So we can change back to blue, I suppose, or maybe let's do a different color. So now we know that p of t. Hopefully, you guys can see the screen is equal to 1 over t. Also we know from the, the previous video that integrating factor mu of t is equal to e to the power of the integral of p of t dt. All right, but we, we know what p of t is. It is 1 over t. So we can say that mu of t is also equal to e to the integral of 1 over t dt. Also, we can say that we can keep simplifying this. This will be equal to e to the power of ln t, the natural log of t. Uh, and e to the power, e to the ln of anything is just that anything. So our integrating factor is actually t. So we can just write that here. Mu of t is equal to t. And then mu prime of t would then just be equal to 1. All right, so let's go back to the original problem. And now that we know this, we want to multiply mu of t to every term. So we have mu of t, which is equal to t, so we have t y prime plus t times 1 over t y is equal to t times t, right? Just like that. Now, we said that mu prime of t is equal to 1, so if we notice here, like that, um, we have mu times y prime plus mu prime plus y. That's the result of the product rule. Again, that was really discussed in this other video here. Uh, so what we can do is we can rewrite the left-hand side of the equation as the derivative of mu times y. And mu is also, again, is equal to t in this case. So that is exactly the same thing. So if we took the derivative of a mu times y, which is mu is equal to t, we would get this expression. Uh, and this is all equal to t squared t squared. So what we're going to do now is we take the der not derivative, integral of both sides with respect to t. So dt, dt. Now when we do this, the left side, uh, this, the signs disappear. So we get ty is equal to one third t cubed. And we have to put that integration constant somewhere, right? We were actually ignoring it here. And ignoring it here, but uh, because we talked about it in the last video, that it's always they're all going to sum up and add into one integration constant here, one arbitrary constant. Uh, again, that is described in this video. So, what we can do now is rearrange this to the final step. We have y is equal to one third t cubed plus c over t. And the other way we could maybe write this is y is equal to, well, this will be 1 third t squared plus c over t. The c is an arbitrary constant. So here we have this. Now what we have here is the general solution to this differential equation.
All right, uh, hopefully that, that's a little bit easier now that we've used actual numbers. And if you again want to touch up on the integrating factor method, just go right ahead and uh, click this button and it'll take you back to review that. All right, see you guys in the next video. We'll do another example.